Hi, I'm Tanya Harricks. I'm an artist and an illustrator. For today's online art workshop, I'm going to show you how to create a semi-abstract tree drawing. This drawing is based on gum trees and some of the trees that I have illustrated in some picture books, which I will show you. So the artwork we will create today will be something similar to this. And we'll be breaking down all of the patterns that we can see on a gum tree into abstract shapes and coloring them. So first of all, I'll show you some um, ideas from some books that I have illustrated and show you some of the trees in those books that have these patterns. So this is a book called Dingo that I illustrated a few years ago, written by Claire Saxby. In this book, there's a very twisted alpine gum tree that you can see has all of these colors in it. So when I painted this, I used pinks, blues, purples, um, greens, greys, yellows, and all of these colours exist in these trees. We just have to look to see them. Another book where I had a big tree is Mally Sky, written by Jody Turing. And you can see behind me a tree from this book that I have painted. And I've got all these um, sections of the gum tree in different colours. So there's some yellows and purples here. I might try to find it in the book. So here, a close look. Okay, and then in Kookaburra, written by Claire Saxby, there are lots of gum trees. And when I went to paint these gum trees, I used lots of different colors as well and broke down the shapes. So you can see this tall gum tree here, even though it's mostly white, has lots of sections of color in it, just how, like we see in real trees. So before we begin, I might show you some reference of actual photos of trees. So you can see the shapes and the colors that I'm talking about. So you can see all of the yellows and the purples and these wonderful shapes that are twisting around the tree trunks and the limbs. Okay, and there's one down there. And some of the bark patterns and colors are here in these printouts. See those beautiful colors that we can see on the gum trees. Silver, reds, greens, yellows, blues, purples. So they're the inspiration for today's artwork. I'm going to show you the materials that you'll need to create your abstract tree drawing today. First of all, some paper. You can use A4 and I'm going to use an A4 sheet today, but it's also really good if you have larger paper, A3 size, or even larger because it's quite abstract and they're simple shapes and you can draw it as big as you like. You'll also need a pencil, just a regular lead pencil, anything you have for drawing the outlines and a rubber. Then to colour with, we will use either colour pencils, if you have some of those. I'm going to use chalk pastels today to colour the tree. And here's a whole box. We're only going to use a few colors. You could also use textures, crayons, paints, anything you have at home that you can color with. Great, so I'll give you um, a few minutes now to go and collect your materials that you'll need for today. So paper, pencil, rubber, and something to color with. And I'll see you back here when you've got those and you're ready to go. Great, so if you have your materials ready and you're ready to go, let's begin drawing the tree trunk with our pencil and paper. We're going to draw a main tree trunk and two limbs today for our tree. 
So we'll begin the base of the tree trunk from the bottom of the page. It's going to take up quite a bit of the width of the page. So start about a quarter in from the page and draw a line almost halfway up on a slight angle like that. Then over here, a little bit further in from the edge, we'll start another line and it will go slightly higher than that line, but it'll be parallel. This is the bottom of the tree trunk. From the top of this shorter line, we're going to draw a line that goes out at an angle to the edge of the paper. Okay, and then the top of this limb here will be approximately two or three fingers spacing and then another line that goes off the edge of the paper. So we've got the main trunk and one limb so far. Okay, for the next limb, I'm going to start at the top of this line and make a curve a little bit out to the edge of the paper. Then take it up about probably three fingers and draw a line that mirrors that line, just like that. Now for the top of the tree, we're going to bend it back the other way. Take a line and go off the edge of the paper. And this one here will follow. Okay, so we've got our main tree trunk and two limbs. And for the patterns, we're just going to add some of those lovely shapes that I showed you. I'll show you again. I might start with a shape here down the bottom. One of these squiggly shapes that we see on a gum tree. The next line, I might follow that shape slightly. Now I might bring a line down from the top of the tree into a squiggly shape. In this area here, I could draw another line to follow that one. Bring it down right to the bottom. Now I'm going to follow that. Like that. So then I've got this space here. What I could do is a so on the limb it might have some lines going around the limb. And this one maybe a twisty. There. I think that will do for my tree. So again, I'll give you a few minutes now to create the patterns on your tree. And then I will see you once you've done that and we'll look at the colors. Okay, so if you're ready to color, grab whatever material you're coloring in with. And we're going to only select five colors. So I have um, a dark purpley blue, a terracotta color, brown, sort of an orangey apricot color. I have a yellow, and then I'm going to use this lilac. Okay, so they're my five colors. Try and choose at least two dark, and the rest can be mid-tones or quite light, just like the trunk of the tree has all sorts of colors in it. I'll show you again, this one here has lots of dark and light contrasts. 
This one has lots of different pastel colours. You can see some really bright colours in these ones. Okay. So I'll start with the orange colour and I might do this big section down the middle of the tree. The good thing about past chalk pastels is they're quite fast. You can colour in a lot of area quite quickly. So I'll be able to do it faster than you and then you can take your time and take as long as you wish to colour yours. So if you are doing it on a larger piece of paper, your sections will be larger and you'll have more sections. So it will, it will take longer and that's okay. You'll have an amazing picture at the end. Okay, I'll choose another area to do the orange and it might be this area to sort of mirror that section. But I will leave a space in between, just blow the chalk away. There we go. As you can see, I've got a space between for another color. Um, maybe this area here can be orange as well. And a little bit. Okay. So now I might put a dark colour in, just the very, I might just do one or two areas in the very dark blue. I might do this section, because this, this could be like a, a hollow in the tree, like almost a, a hole that birds sit inside, like that. Um, and perhaps just this little section here. I'll leave those blue now. Okay, the yellow. Might do this big section here, yellow. And I could have divided up and put some more lines in here. And you will decide what you want to do for your tree. You might add a lot more lines and make a more intricate pattern than I have done. Okay, that's almost ready for the other two colours. I don't want to use a lot of the purple or the brown, so I'm doing mostly these orange and yellow colours. And now I'll put the brown in this section. around this blue section. Okay, and now the lilac. which reminds me of the silvery colour that we see on gum trees. Now, if you do have paints at home, if, if you're lucky enough to be able to get paints out, this would look amazing painted up.
Now that we've coloured the body of the tree, we're going to give the background a contrast colour. And I like to use a sky blue so that it looks like it's sitting against the sky. You could also use a green and if you really want to, you could um, add some leaves to the background and some sky and create more of a bush scene. So basically I just colour all of this white negative space. Actually that one's not great. Great, so if you have a blue colour in a black, uh, background as a sky, or if you prefer to use green and create some leaves, do that. And you can go ahead and colour your tree now. You can draw another tree and colour it. You can make as many of these abstract gum tree artworks as you like. I hope you enjoyed today's online workshop.